Good evening, Browder Times. You're tuned in to Weasel News, where the truth is not only stranger than fiction, it's also as terrifying in a funny way. I'm your host, Weasel Snoops, bringing you the latest in what the heck happened in our fair city. Let's dive into the madness that is Browder Times. Remember, if you haven't seen something surreal today, you're probably just not paying attention. First up, the gas station in Little Saul spontaneously combusted the other day, miraculously or perhaps due to the involvement of extraterrestrial peacekeepers, not a single body was found at the scene, so the question goes unanswered. Who was driving this off-road vehicle? Eyewitnesses' accounts vary from I saw a suspicious squirrel to it was definitely that burrito I had for lunch, ensuring that the investigation is as clear as mud. Next, in a sequence of events that can only occur in the heart of brighter times, the Legion Square garage came the scene of what can only be described as a magical massacre. There was indications that a rogue illusionist took making the audience disappear to a whole new level, leaving nothing but confusion, bodies, and a federal investigation in their wake. The government had stepped in and reportedly has been consulting with Hogwarts to determine the level of the spell used, while the rest of us are left wondering if we should be wearing those tinfoil hats or not. Finally, at last, not one to be outdone by its neighboring garage, Legion Square Park was the scene of another, yes, another massacre, leaving behind a scene straight out of a horror movie. If that horror movie, uh, well, you know, took place here in brighter times, the suspect, in a bold move, accused yours truly, Weasel Snoops, of snitchery, along with an innocent oh, bystander who was up. trying to enjoy the view. Yeah, I <laughs> You're talking to a lot. Hey, way. these are the guys right here. Ooh. We didn't do anything. There's your snitch, bro. I'm just out for the cruise, babe. Yeah. In the true spirit of not being a snitch, this reporter did what any self-respecting reporter would do and immediately informed the authorities that these were their guys. The suspects then led the police on a merry chase. Their capture, as of now, is as uncertain as the sanity of this fine city. Now, as the dust settles, or rather as the chaos continues to unfold in true brighter times fashion, citizens are left pondering whether they're living in a city or another sequel to Harry Potter. The police, the feds, and possibly even the Ghostbusters are on high alert, though it's unclear if they're prepared to tackle gas station explosions, magical massacres, or rogue reporters turning snitch. One thing is clear, in brighter times, the only thing you can expect is the unexpected. Stay tuned to Weasel News for more updates, assuming we're not accused of witchcraft or turned into rabbits in the meantime. Until next time, this has been Weasel Snoops.